Okay, so this time, so let me uh, train again using the patatad concept of Mang Henry. Now le, uh, let me explore uh, explore the drills. So usually this is the drills that we we do in patatad, right? Uh, I love to do patatad in sparring. So usually sometimes what I'm gonna do is this and then hit like this, right? So now let me try it in, in a different perspective. Meaning, supposedly this is one in this, no? So, but me personally, I'd like to do it in this way. So instead of this one is hiding underneath my arms, what I'm gonna do is this one, just in case something some someone hits me, then I can easily block it. Or something something hits me here, then I can easily block it or just hit it back. So I'll be focusing on this in this grip or on this uh, chamber position. So I'm gonna hit you one, two, I'm gonna focus on tagpas. Second is I'm gonna focus on tabas, same drills, and then I can focus on salok with same drills. Okay, so for example, it's one, two, three, that's a hit. One, two, three, that's a hit. One, two, three. So it's just the same motion, same same patad that, but I'm just exploring it on how I execute it. For example, from this one, one, three, one, two, three. Now, let me do it in patabas. And now let, let me do it in, in pasalok. So, each drills need to be varied when it comes to footwork. For example, I can do it here like this. But when I do it with tabas, I usually do it here. Or I'm going to move on the side, which I'm going to pace his attack, or I'm going to evade it and parry it so I can attack like this. But when it comes to salok, I need to be here. So this one is my strike. So I'm going to strike it, or I can step back and hit it like a, like a parry and then hit you with this one. So different technique, different perspective, different way of doing it. So please do it. 